Okay, welcome to leg four, is it? Leg four of the journey. Today we are, oh, there's a pole coming up. Um, today we are doing uh, Rygate Hill, where he lives, uh, down to Titsy Hill. Titsy. Titsy Hill. Aiming for Titsy. Oh. Yeah, aiming for Titsy. Uh, which should be a very pleasant walk. A walk I've done quite a few times this part. Uh, and we'll have a pub lunch in the way and uh, hopefully it doesn't rain. It's June and, oh God, June the 9th. Friday, June the 9th, and we're looking forward to it. And it's, uh, we're hanging today because we've just had the election. Yeah, we've had the election, it's all hanging. Yeah, I see what you did Political there. Political sound bites through this walk. Yeah, there might be, as news unfolds. Because Mark <laughs> is very political. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here we go. We brought, yeah, so we're out onto Rygate Hill, or Cola Hill, and yes, it's raining. Of course it has to be raining. Typical. But hey, we shoulder on, we shoulder on? We sh soldier on. Okay, Sean Connery. Yeah. Gosh. As we walk up, there's the English Memorial. As you walk along Rygate Hill, here's a memorial site for a World War II bomber plane that crashed here in 1944, I think it was, in really bad weather. And the two markers are where, what the wingspan would have been of that particular aircraft. Very sad. There is a 17 flying fortress. Yep. Yeah. 1945, 19th of March 1945. It's a well known spot this. And all the people who lost their lives. Here we are, we're on Rygate Hill at the moment. Here's a nice old milestone. Just outside Rygate Fort. I'm not going in, but here's um, Rygate Fort. One of the many forts built in the late 19th century. Very, very interesting if you ever up this way and have a look around. Owned and maintained by the National Trust. So here we go. Crossing the old ornate bridge over the A217. Lovely old bridge this, isn't it? Yes. Raw iron, raw iron. So we come out into Ray Lane Car Park. Very famous uh, viewing spot with the cafe and everything. And there's a view down to Rygate. Rather nice, very famous view as we move into Gatton Park. Gatton Park, here we go. And it's raining. And it's raining quite hard, but hopefully it won't last too long as we're heading down the North Downs Way. Now so then. Mark says, no, I don't need a waterproof. It's not going to rain much. I don't need, I'll just put my hood up, it'll be fine. So this is now... 20 past 11, yep. and it's raining. It's raining. So we'll catch up later when we're in A&E, <laughs> when Mark's got pneumonia from getting soaked wet, but you never know. So the, the upshot of this conversation is, if Paul says, oh, do you want a walk through? So Mark says, mm, I think I might do actually, Paul, thanks. Good. And Maybe. buy one as well. So now it's stopped raining. Although, that's good. And as we all pass Gatton Park, here are the well-known Millennium Stones. Uh, which is sort of an art installation piece, really. Although I know that I am, my knowledge of myself is not prior to myself. Heris Fiskion. Sphincter says what? Self, that's one of the quotes on the stones. Yeah. These words can illuminate our day life today. Of course it can. Yes. Yeah. Does it illuminate about us walking? Yeah. Does it stop the rain now? No. Shall we, sir? Okay. <laughs> <Isn't> <laughs> The sun's come out now, although we got soaking. Well, I got soaking, Paul didn't, as we explained earlier. And we're just passing Gatton School. The Bart. The Bart. So Gatton Park, uh, we're now looking down here and uh, picking up the trail. It's all good fun now, the sun's come out. We go north down the way. Down towards Mersham. So we're out of the golf course and we're out into this lovely open field and views across to Mersham. We should come out by the historic Quality Street, which many people might know. Is it Mersham or Merston? I say it's Mersham. I've always said Merston. Yeah, my friend used to live there and he said Mersham. Uh -huh. But he was an idiot, so who knows. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Uh, I say motion. You're welcomed yeah. on this video. Class. Yeah, please, please click on the uh, on the comments section. And let us know. 
do it phonetic spelling. That'd be great, thank you. Okay, we just stopped under this tree because it is absolutely chucking it down. We'll, we'll hopefully it'll pass very soon because there's going to be showers today. But I didn't think it'd be this heavy, so yeah. I know, I know. Mm, yeah. Waterproof. Yeah, I know, it's mm. ruining his hair. <laughs> <laughs> So even in the pouring rain, we've come out past the Mersham Cricket Club into the well-known quality street with attractive cottages in the rain. And we go down here. You might not know that Mersham actually was also the first public railway came through here in 1804. It's very interesting. We are a bit drenched, but we're doing all right. Over the M25. Over the M25. And shortly we'll be going under the M23, so this is where they both intersect slightly. Uh, yeah. Up the M25. We've got some Catherine's Church. This is up on a hill, I'm sure this has been an ancient site of worship going back to prehistoric times, to Neolithic times probably. Because some Catherine's Church has been here for a thousand years. It's a lovely old church. Paul and I just had a big whiff of the sun. So it's come out to play. I think hopefully rain has finished for the day. But it's a little bit grey over there still, but it should be fine. Here we go, let's cross the road as the sun's come out. There's the North Downs Way, way sign. We've overgrown and we're heading. Yeah, and there's another hill. We're going down underneath the M23 and then up again, which is going to be fun. It's a picturesque underpass to the M23. Look at that, isn't that lovely? What we're going to do, we'll quickly stop here just a quick second and de-robe because it's now getting quite hot and we've got a hill to climb, so here we go. Oh. We're going to walk up there, Paul. That's right. Up Hockley Hill. Through the crops. Through the crops. It's not actually that far, but it's a hill, go figure. So Paul and I have just come from that where the rain was coming down and everything, but we're heading that way, where it's sunny and blue sky. Unfortunately, our legs keep, because the sand and mud is a little bit wet from the rain. Uh, feet keep slipping back, don't they? So it's a bit more strenuous than we thought, but we're nearly there. Okay, we're at the top of Oakley Hill. Oh, a bit tiring. And now, walking this way, you know, once we've cleaned off our boots a bit, <laughs> and Heading down the North Downs Way, down here. So like I say, this little about three quarters of a mile jaunt is actually one of my favourite bits of the whole walk because this is original North Downs Way, this is original ancient trackway that the ancestors would have used. Right up on the top of the ridge, been a drove road in later years. And it's a real nice peaceful calm up here. There's a nice view of London that way, but it's a bit too misty to see at the moment. But, uh, we're walking along. There's a uh, Ordnance Survey trig point, which obviously been redundant for many years because we now use GPS, but uh, still a great thing to see on the landscape. Okay, we've joined the Pilgrim's Way, which also intersects with the North Downs Way. With Paul and I, and head down here for about I think it's probably about two and a half miles, and our lunch stop at the Harrow Inn, in Chaldon. Trying to walk carefully so we don't fall in the water or get lots of mud on us because there's plenty around after the rain. But there's a lovely vivid colour in the greenery, lovely. Here we are up on the North Downs Way. In the right in the distance, now we've got a clearer sky. You can see that there, London. It's a shard, I think, right in the distance. As me and, as me and Paul walk by, there's nothing like seeing uh, an aeroplane in your back garden. Standard, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's absolutely glorious. A really nice stretch of the route as we go down to Caterham after lunch and Caterham Viewpoint. So we just had lunch in the Harrow, which was very nice, wasn't it, Paul? Very nice. Very nice. And now we're going to head down to a War Coppice Road. And here's a tower in the 18th century in Tower Farm. Now ruined, of course. Now walking down War Coppice Road. Bit of road walking, unfortunately, going downhill. Heading to the forest. 
out onto Cape Room viewpoint. So about another six miles to go. So here we go into Woodland, following the North Downs Way via Hextall's Lane. Downs Way, and here we go. Walking off our lunch at the moment on the beverage. But uh, it's all good. So there we have it. Out into Caterham Viewpoint. This is rather splendid. I've not walked this section before, this is going down to Caterham, so it's all new. But uh, it's fun exploring somewhere new. There's the Acorn sign, and we're going down this way, down some steps. I knew it was here somewhere. And this goes over the A25. 22. A22, of course. And we've opened up into glorious fields. Oh, we have another hill to climb back up in a minute. One of the things that makes our blood boil, fly tipping. This place is prominent for it, apparently. Walking past, there's a Godstone Vineyard. Look down way, it's just up there. Getting a bit tired now. Yeah, we are getting a bit tired. Weary. Weary, love, weary. That's, yes, I know where we go. Yes, I remember this. <sighs> Enjoying the trip up to the top of the Waldingham Hill. Quick water and then pressing on. Yeah. Feeling it a bit now. We've done quite a few miles today, so a bit of hill walking. We just see some deers. We were absolutely, and they're still there. Deer, see the deer? Oh. Right. Yeah, there they are. Oh, lovely deer. Okay, here we go, out onto the walk. Out onto the road. View down to the South Downs. You've got to be careful. Sit down here. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, that's it. Here we are. You're absolutely right. Here's a little viewpoint and look out over the M25 down towards Oxted. There's a rather, rather nice view. We yeah. can see the end in sight, which is over there with the, and then up Limpsfield Hill. Over there where the green, sorry, where the yellow field is. So an end is in sight. This is parallel yeah. to the bus right. So I think it's for access. There must be some access uh, chamber or something. It's in Oxted Downs now. We're at the end of the walk. Okay, come off the road. There it is. And we're going up. Before we end, Paul and I have got a walk up Oxted Common, which is all uphill to get to the car. So. It's got to be done. It's like Box Hill last time, you know, it's always a big hill at the end. But... It's only a tiny bit. Oh, it's only that little bit there. Oh! It's alright. Get up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy. And this guy is running up where we've got to go, so we can't complain. Good luck to him, mate. Oh, just come across the snail. I've never seen a snail that big before. The skull go. Wow. Yeah, Let's walk up there. Of course, the end of our fourth jaunt. Uh, we're a bit almost there. Yeah, almost there. Next time we're coming from Tipsy to, to into Kent. Into Kent yeah. for the first time. We're going through West Durham. Uh, not Holt. Yeah, not Holt. Not towards Oxford. Mm, apparently. So this is great. Thank you for joining us on this video diary. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Mm.